So the last epi the last video of Honkai Star Rail, I accidentally started by Lose Character Story Quest. So now I'm going to finish it. Uh, I'm just going to show the footage that I cut in the last in the last video, so you'll get more context. So my girl. Yes, you have extraordinary skills. And you... <laughs> that was f here's the situation. Lady Bailu, the is this Vidyadra something? Dragon Lady, has escaped from the Alchemy Commission again. I'd say again because the Realm Keeping Commission has seen more than a few of her bad tempered escapes. This must be your first time on the Sienjo. It's a long story. The Vidyadra is one of the three races that established the Sienjo alliance. Their bloodline is different from us Sienjo natives. The Vidyadra are born with great vitality. The gift of the permanence, as they say. Permanence? What does that mean? That's all you need to know. The rest is irrelevant to what's happening today. Okay. A dragon lady isn't an official position. People address her that way out of love. The Vidyadra High Elder, on the other hand, is a position similar to a chief. It's been passed down from generation to generation. But only the Vidyadra that possess draconic features and inherit the dragon heart can be successful. And Miss Bailu is the Vidyadra's future High Elder on the law firm. The rumor has always been that she can heal the wounded merely by touching them and shedding tears. And she also studied medicine in the Alchemy Commission. That's why her other title is Healer Lady. Not imprisoned, exactly. Vidyadra customs are somewhat different from Sienjo native customs. Miss Bailu has incredible talents and is next in line to rule over the Vidyadra. It's normal that her people would want to keep a close eye on her. However, she also has somewhat of a free spirit. She always manages to find a way to escape her residence. Because she's small. She can probably fit through door cracks. It used to be the duty of the Realm Keeping Commission to go after her and take her back to the Alchemy Commission. But this time is different. Because of the Stellaron crisis, we're constantly short of manpower. Besides, even if we catch the Dragon Lady, we can't take her back anytime soon. I don't know if you heard, but someone locked down the Delves connected to the Alchemy Commission. Hmm. Now nobody can get in or out. It's completely cut off. Something very fishy is going on. That's what I want to know. I guess she sneaked out before the Delves were locked down. She might even know what happened Shut in the Alchemy the Commission. Up. And those doctors came from apothecaries and other delves. I've asked them, and they don't have the slightest clue what's going on. I'd like you to help with two things. First, wait, the this is something thing different. Might be a bit hard to understand. I want you to stop her from treating the Mara struck. Like I said, we don't have enough people. The Dragon Lady decides. It isn't a crime for her to run away from her residence. And even if it were, given her status, we couldn't exactly stick her in jail and throw away the key. Being stricken with Mara isn't like catching a curable disease. Take you short life species as an example. Do you consider aging a disease? No. I accept death, man. Dahao, you will die your old. Aging can be slowed, but it's still unavoidable. Just like being stricken with Mara for the people of the Sienjo. Unfortunately, becoming Mara struck is more terrifying than death. The Sienjo has long had other methods. When Mara is about to strike, the spirit fairs and judges of the Ten Lords Commission promptly take the afflicted away. It Mara is scary, but it won't cause any harm. Oh, Mara's a disease? 
systems. We have the realm keeping oh, it's not in disease. Just said it's not. More than enough to handle any eventuality. However, the Dragon Lady's Mara suppression could lead to Mara Struck falling under the Ten Lords Commission's radar. If we let her carry on, we'll have Mara Struck on every street corner. People will panic. Bro, Shenzu will fall if Mara was uh, like a plague. Seeing as we're already dealing with one crisis, we need to be extra vigilant when dealing with the Mara Struck. This is not something that can. You're the distinguished guest of General Jing Yuan. I am Jing Yuan. As such, you'll also have the full trust of the Realm Keeping Commission. Oh, one more thing. There's a lot of suspicion surrounding the Alchemy Commission these days. If you discover someone from the Commission on the hunt for the Dragon Lady, watch your step. Okay. To be a piece of cake. Great. Oh, god damn, it is something different. Fuck me. I told you to follow my plan. You draw attention when you use your powers. And we still have to take care of the matter at hand. Really? She draws attention by using her powers, not not the fact that she has a tail and horns. I was only tending to the sick. Besides, oh. you weren't even here just now. Where did you go? She sounds adorable. It's actually my first time hearing Bailu's voice uh, properly because I think the last time I heard Bailu's voice uh, my volume was non-existent You know full well about my situation, Lady Bailu If there are people from the Ten Lords Commission present in the plaza, then... Uh... Then what? <laughs> Hello, Ten Lords Commission here, you're under arrest Commission. I'm only joking, man. Uh, you're not a Ten Lord spirit there. Why are you trying to frighten people? Because I'm only joking. <laughs> I only escaped, I mean, left the <laughs> Alchemy Commission for an official medical visit. There's nothing more to it, okay? The nurse here can vouch for me. Okay. Easy, Lady Bailu. She's clearly not from the Alchemy Commission either. Yeah. I look like someone that doesn't even belong in the Wofu. Uh, then don't scare me like that! Huh. Wait a minute. I've seen you before. <clears throat> she stands like Klee. In the plaza! I was surrounded by yeah. all those Mara struck. You rescued me, right? It was you! You came just in time! Really? Bansia, you said you don't know the way from here. Right? This girl's no pushover. She'll be able to help. I'm thankful that Bailu thinks I'm reliable. I'm probably not. <laughs> no, Lady Bailu. I don't trust her. Understandable. You shouldn't trust someone you just met. Please leave us. Whoa. Yeah. It's not your call to make bangs, yeah. I'm taking care of Lady Bailu. You don't need to worry. I thought Bailu was an adult, but reincarnated into a child. <laughs> Looks like a child. <gasps> you two stop arguing! I think there's someone from the Alchemy Commission over there. Hmm. You help us hide first. We'll talk later. <laughs> this this feels like uh the Dun Dun situation from Genshin. Oh. From there to here, what the fuck? Uh, what? Oh. Look no further. This room seems to be able to hide them for a moment. Bailu, this way. Bro, Bailu just needs to come between those the, that crack. She won't be found out. Help us get rid of him, please. We'll have plenty of time to talk later. Promise. 
Pile and Bang Shang in the room and lower their voices. They should be hard to be discovered. Hmm. I'll ask first and then decide what to do. Who am I asking? You there! Excuse me. I want to ask you something. I did not see a child with horns with a nurse. <laughs> Are you looking for- no, no, I'm not saying that. <laughs> You're not the only one. Can you at least hear me out first? Have you seen a woman wearing an alchemy commission uniform? She was about the same height as you. Yo, I think she was I'm at least tall. What's a jetty? We walk the same path, but it would seem she's hiding from me. <laughs> hmm. Very well, thank you. I'll head over to the jetty. What's... is that the jetty? What's a jetty? This, this seems more believable. The opposite direction? It can't be. <laughs> uh, never mind. I just came from that direction. Yeah, that, that was stupid. Are you covering for her? You know something, alright. <laughs> I have a few more questions for you. Dude, he's suspicious of me. Damn. Oh, what the f I'm fighting? Whoa. Ah, done. There's more to this alchemy commission doctor. Oh, whoa. Guy. I knocked him out. I wonder if Four I people came out of him and I knocked him out. Disciple of Sanctus That's Medicus. That's an alchemy commission doctor's uniform, all right. Dahao did say there was suspicion surrounding the alchemy commission. Let's check his pants. We need to make sure something's not hard. Uh, secrets are often scrunched up and even shoved into pockets. Why not have a look? We need we need to feel first. A piece of folded letter that reads, "Mercy, mercy of Sanctus Medicus, the Arbor's new growth, unity of Discipuli Medicus." The immortality's true path. I'd better take this. Huh? Let's check his pants. The pockets front. A jade abacus, abacus bracelet with at least with the latest design that cannot be unlocked with a golden badge. Ah. I'd better take this. Yes, we we should we should pickpocket him until he's dry. Jacket pockets. Uh, <laughs> we we need to check some ID. You know, he might be lying. Few pe few people apart from the outworlders on Janzo's Janzo would have a wallet. Folded photo, bro. Picture of his family. No money was found in it, bro. This this doctor's broke. You can only see a folded photo this. inside of it. Yes. Let's check his jacket pockets again. A special but scratched out prescription, which seems to have something to do with the Mara strap. Okay, I'm gonna give this to Bailu. I better take this. Yes. Let's take. <laughs> Let's take his shoes off. Hiding things in shoes. Such a classic or method. Maybe that's not necessary. It is necessary. Fine. Nobody home. Yeah, yeah, Bailu. They won't notice the childlike voice. You're back. Does that mean we're safe now? Yes. I knocked that guy out and took shit from him. We're coming out. As gay. After making sure they are not pursued anymore, Bailu and Banshia walk out of the room. What happened? Room. That man wanted to catch me and take me back to the Alchemy Commission, right? I knew it! Hmm. I told you this girl was trustworthy. Thank you for trusting me. Thank you for helping us. But I'm worried you being here could just complicate matters further. Bro. <laughs> Please leave us be. Man. 
I know you're supposed to be the one that looks after Bailu, but having a friend to help you, I mean, we're not friends, I'm Bailu's friend, but having a, having a helping hand isn't bad, you know? I just saved you. Oh, right. Defense, bro. I'm about to lawyer up this shit. He was looking for an alchemy commission woman about the same height as me. Are we? Oh, no, no, I'm taller. I'm taller. Yeah, I'm taller. I'm taller. How is that possible? Everything's not impossible. How can I prove the doctor from the alchemy commission was looking for Banshia? I know, I looted him. Uh, probably... I forgot, what is this? I, oh, we should use the flower. Wait a uh, minute. Dude, how about this? You must be siblings. I see a girl and a boy in this photo. Wait a minute. Oh, what the... This glass shard. The disciples of Sanctus Medicus letter indicates that Tangshia, the nurse of who betrayed the disciples of Sanctus Medicus, has already escaped the alchemy commission's spell. Here's the proof. <laughs> Wait, I've heard of the disciples of Sanctus Medicus. So it is Medicus. I thought I was pronouncing it wrong. Aren't they those crazy followers that worship the Mara struck and the plague's author? But Bansia's nothing like them. She wanted me to treat the Mara struck. Really? Lady Bailu, you promised you wouldn't tell anyone about that. Don't be shy. You wanted her to treat the Mara struck? Hmm. Suspicious. Could she be a disciple of Sanctus Medicus? So I wonder if I have any evidence. I really thought, uh... When I was pickpocketing the guy, I thought I was pronouncing Sanctus Medicus wrong. I thought, I thought it was Sanctus Medicus, but it's annoying to say Medicus, so I just say Medicus. Oh, what? Uh, the prescription. Uh, slow this is the a prescription from process. the disciples of Sanctus Medicus. Bailu, can you take a look? I like the fact that they are actually giving the the protagonist some voice lines, uh, because I think in Genshin there, not a lot of voice lines actually said by either Aether or Lumine. I'm actually uh, pretty happy that they are actually uh, putting more attention to their voices. The handwriting on this prescription is exactly the same as the one you gave to me. Hmm. Are you really from the disciples of Sanctus Medicus? Oh. You're a liar! A great big liar! Let's run, Bailu! I'm sorry, Lady Bailu. Let's run away together without this bitch. I am a member of the disciples of Sanctus Medicus. Why did you know this? And that doctor from the Alchemy Commission was sent to catch me. But I, I never meant to harm Lady Bailu. Oh. On the contrary, by taking her away from that place, I was protecting her. Wasn't Bailu known to keep escaping the com the well, the medical commissioner? I think she kept escaping. Right? There's no there's no reason to take her away from that place if she's still gonna run away. I made a deal with Lady Bailu before we escaped. We have an urgent task to complete. Please, don't take her away. Ah, shit, I need to take a piss. Wait, okay, okay, I'm back. I should ask Bailu what she thinks about all this first. Bailu, I'm not Black talking to you, Bounce here. wounds and diseases is one thing. Curing the evils of humanity? There I was thinking. 
someone helped me escape the Alchemy Commission because they genuinely wanted to help me. What? What the fuck? What, what passed me? You. Huh. Enough. Being angry will start my growth. Bro, well, let's put this who are you? This. You're like Sayu and Klee mixed together. You've heard of the San Disciples of Sanctus Medicus. I don't know much. If it weren't for those scrolls in the Alchemy Commission's Elixir Research Terrace, I doubt anyone in the Shinshu would have heard of them. A long time ago, even by the standards of long life species, the Shinshu eliminated an organization that worshipped the Plague's author. Did the Plague author wear war? Why were they eliminated? Because they held an incredibly dangerous notion. Shinto is... people wanted to be released from the threat of Mara and return to the stability of life and death. Yet the disciples of Sanctus Medicus believed that being stricken with Mara was a blessing, a natural evolutionary step in casting off the mortal coil. They, they thought a disease was a blessing. That's like saying that the plague was the you know what i'm not gonna finish that joke because i can't think of it sounds great right well only if you think becoming a monster devoid of all humanity is a good thing that's why the cloud knights and ten lords commission cooperated to eliminate the organization but in the trailer you were being chased by cloud knights right but just because you can't see something doesn't mean it isn't there. It's like eradicating a sickness. Easier to do when the symptoms are visible. In hindsight, not only did the disciples endure, they expanded the organization in secret. Just what does it mean to be Mara struck? The people of the Shinsho have asked themselves that question thousands of times. Did someone answer? Countless doctors and sages have dedicated their lives to researching a cure for the curse. Tragically, besides a few theories, no one has come to a definite oh. conclusion. Hmm. You know what? That's sad. In truth, nobody in this world can fully comprehend the curse of the plague's author. What are the theories? Some doctors believe that because the people of the Shinsho have immortal bodies, their memories accumulate until no more can be stored in the brain. What? Wait, wait, I didn't listen. Some doctors believe that because the people of the Shinsho, Shinsho have immortal bodies, their memories accumulate until no more can be stored in the brain. What? So is being Mara struck like something neurological? Only the most vivid and extreme memories persist. But such memories are usually ones of regret, hatred, grief, and other negative emotions. Is being horny there? That's when the symptoms of being stricken with Mara begin to show. But the physical changes are the most terrifying. Yeah, I saw they become yellow. What's the connection between the Alchemy Commission and the Disciples of Sanctus Medicus? How should I know? It's not like Commission members walk around with Disciple of Sanctus Medicus on their foreheads. But aren't you like reincarnating? You should have memories of the past, right? You, you, you should at least know it. Oh, I don't have any other questions. Now for you, Bangsia. I'm sorry I wasn't honest with Lady Bailu, but <laughs> I had no other choice. Bro, Bangsia's about to cry. What deal did you make with the Dragon Lady? Did you just say Bailu? I asked her to save my beloved. In return, I helped her escape from the Alchemy Commission. What does your beloved help? Mara? I broke many of the Vidyadaras laws, and the Alchemy Commission is bound to punish me. But I just can't let my beloved die. Bro, just let your beloved die peacefully with with 
you with him or her I I'm not gonna assume with them between your arms I mean that's a good way to go no uh, dying in the hands of the ones you love that's like one of the best ways to die I still have some questions for I don't you. have much time left but go ahead what are you gonna die why did you hide all this from Byron? Yeah, yeah, that's actually a question. I thought we would be fine after we escaped. I didn't know those people would come after us. Bro, you, you knew that you broke the loss of the Vidyadra. Why wouldn't you think that people would come after I, you? I just couldn't find a way to tell her I was a disciple and about all the things I experienced there. You've been nice to me, but you shouldn't have kept me in the dark. I hate when grown-ups hide secrets and only tell you half the story. <sighs> it's such a headache. But I know you meant this in a more interpretive sense, but he didn't bounce ya literally took you out of prison. So he didn't she didn't kept you in the dark. She actually took you away from it. Who is your beloved? I hope it's a male. His name is Leon Lu. Oh, it is a he. He's a short life species so I can that requested shoot. an elixir. He's a short life species that requires requested an elixir. Is is Liang Lu human? I used to think that the suffering of short life species was nothing. But my heart <laughs> My heart ached when I saw him in such pain. It's something I never expected to experience in my lifetime. Falling in love I mean, with a short life species. <laughs> Such a bittersweet feeling. I mean, if you know that you're going to live a lifespan that's longer than most creatures or most species, you should at least uh, think about that. You know? Your heart's going to ache. A lot of things can happen when you're alive, and you will experience more if you live longer. She should have at least taken that to uh, thought. That's when I thought of Lady Bailu, the dragon lady that can heal mortals through tears alone. But it would take 30 years for her to treat all those in need. That's very specific. I have no choice but to come up with this plan. Please. Please forgive me. I will. You said you didn't have much time left. Yeah, are you gonna die? Or what, what, what is his name? Liang Wu? Or Liang Wu? I'm gonna call it your beloved because I don't remember his name. Yeah. Is he gonna? Is he dying currently? I'm already showing symptoms of the Mara struck. What? Oh right, it's you. You, you think that be being a disciple of that Medicus stuff would get you Mara struck? Mainly because you're supporting being Mara struck. The disciples of Sanctus Medicus regard the Mara struck as saints. They take all kinds of strange medicines to speed up the process. Bruh. I was no exception. Why, why was this Medicus thing not being stopped by Jing Yuan or something? Or someone from the higher ups? But since I met Liang Lu, I realized Liang, that these saints Liang, are not, horrible not creatures. The names I said. Even if I were to become immortal, to not recognize him, to forget him, I mean, or become dying. something that he doesn't recognize. Yeah, you turn yellow, man. That's why I stopped With taking medicines skin. and escaped. Thanks to the dragon lady, I made it here safely. But is are you being more Mara struck now currently? <laughs> Bro, this is this sounds so. Bailu, do you want hmm. to go with her? 
She hid everything from me. But I promised her I'd save her beloved. Yeah, save her beloved, but not her. Exactly what I would think. After all these years, I'm still not used to seeing people suffer. <laughs> Lady Bailu. Bansia, tell us what you want to do next. You should thank him, sir. I can't let the disciples of Sanctus Medicus or the Ten Lords Commission find us. We need to find a way to get to Cloudford without drawing their attention. I have someone in mind. Who? Actually, who? Is it Jing Yuan? You All right, Wang Dao, Dao. an orderly from the Realm Keeping Commission. If you have an urgent issue, please go to the Chancery. Uh, huh? Aren't you the healer lady? We want to ask you, <laughs> kneel before the dragon lady. Yes, Guan Du, I think. <laughs> the Xian Zhou did away with all that nonsense eras ago. Damn. <sighs> if it's official business you're here about, you'll need to go to the Chancery. Da Hao and Song Yan should be there. I'm just an orderly. Not As for Jin anything Yan. concerning the dragon lady, I'm sorry, but there's nothing I can do. Yeah, Guangda seems like the doorkeeper or the guard. I'd like to take your ship to Cloudport. Hey, would you keep it down? You've got it wrong. That that's not my ship. It's my friend's. My friend has a Star Skiff travel permit and can help you leave quickly. I'm not the one who owns the ship. Just cut to the mm. chase. Can we take the ship or not? Okay. If you're asking for a favor, don't. Don't be like Bangsia. She sh I know she sounds. I know she needs it, but she sounds like she feels. Yes, you can, but please keep it down. I can take you there if the price is right. I, uh, I mean, my friend Whoa. can take you there. So, relax. Hmm? How about it? Shall we set off? Bro, well, you're lucky that Da Hao hasn't caught up with you. Go to Cloud Four. Ah, oh, shit. Who would have thought? Oh, these are disciples of Sanctus Medicus. Oh, this is what their name is. And this is Mars Rock Soldiers. I never knew their names were disciples of Sanctus Medicus. Oh, they won't let me use Bailu. Leonu. Bro. I must see you look him. like you're having a heart attack. Bansia, your symptoms are getting worse. I have some soothing tonic in my gourd. Would you like some before we set off? Yes. <sighs> Thanks, Lady Bailu. But we can't delay Bro. any longer. It would be sad that both of them die. Like, was that Liang Mu? Like, Liang Mu became better, but she became a Mara Struck and accidentally killed Liang Mu. And she died. I told Leon Mu to hide in a Cloudford shipping container. I couldn't let the disciples of Sanctus Medicus find him. Why would the disciples of Sanctus Medicus know him? Because she is a member and they would have very personal uh, documentations about because her. Because I promised Leon Mu I'd bring him an elixir of immortality to make him one of the people of the Sienjo like me. Oh, is the people from Shanzo or Xianzo immortal? I thought they were I thought they just have longer lifespan. <gasps> you know that's one of the Xianzo's ten unpardonable sins, right? What? Making a mortal immortal? Yes. Oh, Xianzu. Xianzo. I know nothing about the Bro, treachery doing, of the disciples of Sanctus Medicus. She's doing back then. a lot for love. I only knew that people in the alchemy commission were involved let in your ancient love die clandestine medicines. Happily between your arms. But I was wrong. It wasn't a blessing of immortality. Not even a poor imitation. They were turning humans into monsters, weren't they? Short life species are expendable to those maniacs. They use them in experiments to develop their medicines. Bro. <laughs> I don't have much time left. And 
I only have one solution left. <laughs> the healer lady. The short curly carrying a girl gore. Yes. This this is the hey. best answer. Ah, what's with that girl? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> lady Bailu. You still remember our deal, right? What? Is she going to turn Amara but what Lian? What I forgot his name. Lian Lu or something. What? Is he going to get healed but refuses immortality because she's going to turn into Amara or something? You help me escape the Alchemy Commission? I saved your sweetheart. Okay. <sighs> Thank you, Lady Bailu. The place we arranged to meet up is ahead. Let's go. I can't. There's going to be. I can't forget. I must get there. This is bad. She's starting to lose touch with reality. The soothing tonic might not work anymore. This calls for shock treatment. Bro, shock therapy is in order. There's no man here. Right. How can that be? Where is he? We agreed to meet here. My head. How can that be? Let her rest here for a while. I'll think of something. Try not to move. I'll think Fortia. with you. But he's not here. We still need to find him. Yeah, no, no. Me and Bailu will find him. You sit around. Nurse, get a hold of yourself. <laughs> All right. She's Doctors a nurse. Doctors orders. You're not Can a doctor, you you're a healer there are lady. Nearby? I don't think Vansia's sweetheart would leave for no reason. Leave it to me. <laughs> don't you have a phone? <laughs> don't you have yeah, call your sweetheart. Are you talking about Jade Abacuses? We escaped the Alchemy Commission in a hurry. Didn't have time to bring them. Jade Abacuses are the names for their phones? That's like calling a phone cellular device. Leave the patient to me. I'm the healer lady of the Alchemy Commission, after all. Bro. Well, you should be called the Reviver. I, if I recall correctly, uh, I think one of her passives, or I think it's her ultimate, can revive a character, a, a downed character, right? Let's start with this area and see if we can find any clues nearby. It looks like Banshee's sweetheart was tracked by the disciples of Sanctus Medicus and had to switch location. Okay, I was going to uh, give a shortcut to what I just read, but... You know, I should fine. go and tell Banshee and Bailu. Hurry! What happened? Did you find any clues? That was a cop. Oh, wait, never mind. The disciples of Sanctus Medicus already had their eye on this place. I just hope he's okay. Let's keep walking. Dude, we should just carry you. And, you know, he's lucky he wasn't. Uh, known instantly he was he was confronted but not known so I think he was just asked some questions and then the Medicus guy left no way do you know how bad your condition is don't worry I'll find young Lu and treat him bro if we Send if we leave her here the apothecary in Starskip Haven. If, if we come back and she turns into that Medicus or a soldier no. that's going to just be sad i know exactly how bad my condition is that's why i've changed my mind i want to see I him one last time bro don't don't feel hopeless you'll help me both of you will right? die in the same time that's fine i have a favor to ask you You've seen for yourself how dangerous the Mara Struck can be. Yeah, they can revive. If the time comes, please protect the Dragon Lady. I'll do what I must do. 
Bro, I'll kill you right now if you want. Thank you. <laughs> I'm glad to hear you say that. caught sight of a lot of disciples in the area just now. I'm a traitor to them. They won't stand idly by if they lay eyes on me. They can't stand idly by. Uh, if you can't uh, fend them off, uh, uh, just let me go with them. Bro, this you sound like a... requires so many people? Is this a... Lady Bailu, I can't go on anymore. Uh, so basically in the letter, he changed places again, and yeah, that that's that's it. Uh, he isn't waiting for us here. Did he hide somewhere else? That behind this big box. Lady Bailu, watch out! There you are. Zeke clearly failed them. Oh, and if it isn't the dragon lady, trying to make up for past sins, are we? These dicks can talk. Uh, blah, blah, blah. I've heard enough out of you already. If it's a beating you want, allow me to do the honors. I'll deal with you in a moment, little girl. Men, take the traitor and make sure you get the list of her. She has a list. Don't even think. <laughs> Please spare me. That is everyone. Seize them. You. Are you giving me an order? Oh yeah, Julie. Julie. You. Karmic atonement. A ten lords commission, judge. Oh. I. I met this character, but. I didn't know what her role was. She's a higher up. Can I use him? I can't even use fire. <laughs> what the fuck? This ten lords commission judge packs a punch. But Bonsia, you. Shh, shh, shh. If she notices my symptoms, she won't hesitate. It's only symptoms. What? Are you like a zombie right now? And like a person just got bitten and being asked, kill me before I turn and kill you. Something like that shit. Why are the disciples Bro, of Sanctus Medicus pursuing you? Is she away here? I can't see her. I can't move my screen. Oh, she you. <laughs> We're just passing for this. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, she'd believe that. <laughs> We're in an Alchemy Commission rescue squad. I only squad. see two of you in Alchemy Commission attire. You're blind. You, girl, raise your head. You have a wandering look in your eyes. A Mara struck look, perhaps? Oh, I thought... She said girl. I thought I thought she meant Dailu, but I think she meant... Help us, right? Miss Judge! We only just managed to escape before the Dells were locked down. Those evil men have been chasing us. This nurse is so scared she can barely stand. Great acting by Lu. Applaud for this little hmm. girl. Madam Shui the remnants of the disciples oh, of Saint Desmedicus have girl, been found woman? in the southwest of Cloudburg. You're a woman? I shouldn't assume, but... She sounds like a woman. So, her name's pronounced Shui. Shui. This place isn't secure. You should leave immediately. Aha, dumbass. Soldiers, see them on their way. We will run our way. We have a path to find this Bansia's beloved. That's the strangest judge I've ever come across. Bansia, are you alright? Bro. It's, she's clearly not. She's having a heart attack. I made it this far. I won't go back without seeing him one last time. Let's go this way and see if we Just can avoid die those together, man. There are 
Cloud Knight Whoa. disciples of Sanctus Medicus over there. But they just slide. I don't have time for them. They're just lying on the ground. Oh, this this is a Medicus guy. Four oh four Cloud Knights and two Medicus. There are armed villains up ahead. If you're not on duty here, return to the city for your own safety. Are you a woman? Are you are you a man that just sounds like a woman, or act? Are you actually a woman? Uh, um, he's right behind that door. We're almost there. Bro, how did he got past? But there are cloud knights stationed there. Wait, I have an idea. We're going to ride Bailu. She's going to transform as a dragon. How about time we taught some roadblocks a lesson? Uh... Hey, don't cause a commotion, or the judge will be on our case again for sure. It's fine, I'm friends with Jing Yuan. Didn't we pass some soldiers resting on the way over here? You know, the place where the Cloud Knights and the Disciples of Sanctus Medicus fought. You mean downstairs? <laughs> <sighs> you said it, not me. Hmm, a spot of emergency treatment in exchange for some armor. Sounds fair to me. Bro, just take their armor. They're already dead. Or, wait, they're just probably lying <laughs> on the ground. Let's do what Lady Bailu suggested. Let's go steal some armor. I'm already downstairs. You gave medical treatment to the wounded cow knight that had lost time. <coughs> There's no time to lose. What? Is this us? Let's go. Just tell them your soldier is guiding me back to the Alchemy Commission. They won't know any better. Yeah, they're done. Is this us? Bro, our, even our hair changed. Oh no, that's that's the helmet. Halt! No, our, What's our with the hair kid? changed. Uh, uh, surely, you know the healer lady of Alchemy Commission. Mm. She does have horns and a tail. Bro, why does your hmm sound like you had a sore throat or something? We need to escort her back. <laughs> She's a dragon child. No, no, no. We need to escort her back to the Alchemy Commission. I heard the dragon lady <sighs> likes to sneak away from the commission, but I never thought I'd have the honor of seeing her in person. Bro, if she runs around, it's probably pretty common to find her. No, no! I haven't finished playing yet! I don't want to go back to the Alchemy Commission! Five stars to Bailu for acting her acting is pretty nice she knows how to act like a little girl uh <coughs> is the nearest harbor up ahead that's right you don't seem very well soldier we have a military doctor up ahead why would we need a military doctor we have healer lady <clears throat> don't worry i mean dragon lady i have the dragon lady with me i i still want to play i'm hungry don't take me back! I don't want to go back! I'm not going back! Bro, we're going to drag her with her tail. Access granted. Good work, soldiers. <clears throat> Thank you. It looked like I was going to walk to a wall. How or... was that? Wasn't my acting amazing? Yes. Let me tell you, a performance like that requires a lot of temper tantrum practice. Five stars. That was incredible. We need to stop. She's gained, She's gaining too much. She's gaining too much ego. By the way, what's taking Bonsia so long? She's probably dying. <coughs> Why can't I take off my helmet? Oh shit! Damn. Why is my voice like this? You accidentally press the voice changer on the helmet and. Left it locked. Oh my god, she's going to turn into a Mara strap. No. No, oh my god, I was right. Can you help me check? Oh! Come on, it feels like something's caught. Oh. I'm not going to tell her. Has the Mara taken hold? That was quite. <coughs> Sudden. Very, very sudden. But I still 
still remember him. And I remember both of you. I mean, I just said that they're all the memories that Mara will remember are are big ones. And probably this one has been on her mind. So it's not only negative emotions that will cloud your mind. Positivity can also do it. Oh, is this a result of your healing? <laughs> Thank you. If it weren't for you, I... Bro, shut the fuck up. You need to find your, your beloved. Don't thank me. It's my fault. I couldn't preserve you the way you were. Yeah, you you have blades now. How, how are you going to hug him? And you, you, you're packing something. You're packing something. You can't cure someone stricken with Mara. <laughs> it's already a miracle that I still have my senses. That I can talk to you. Hey. <laughs> Do you still remember what I said earlier? <laughs> if the time comes... Yeah, yeah, I'll tell you. But I just noticed something. Uh... The, help, the armor that the, the Mara struck wear, it looks a lot like the Cloud Knights. Are, are the Mara struck supposed to be like Cloud Knights turned into Mara? Is that what it's supposed to be? What she... Because... Let's go. Well, I still have my senses. Bro, she's going to get her beloved killed. You're going to walk? Oh, I'm going to walk too. I can't jump. I would have bunny hopped. I can't even see a person. Where is your beloved man? Oh. You look like you're packing something. Where is he? Wait. I feel a bit dizzy. What should I do? Serious imbalances of yin and yang? Cold and heat? Uh, essential oils? Um, I just need a rest. Lady Bailu, don't forget our deal. Bro, she's going to rest and when we get her husband or her beloved, their tech I she didn't said that they were married. Uh if we get her beloved to her and the beloved will go to her and will hug her, he's going to die. Stop calling it a deal. I made a promise. I'll heal him. Don't worry. Bailu is such an innocent child. I'll kill you right now. I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's because of me that all of you are in danger. Nah, you don't need to worry. You're going to get killed by me either way. Enough talk. Here, I pour the medicine through the helmet. But that's just saying if the medicine will go will go inside her mouth. Thank you, even if, Lady Bye. Even if she has a mouth. <laughs> But I can't feel the gap between my skin and the helmet anymore. Bro, her skin turned black. Reverse Michael Jackson up here. Damn. I look like I don't care. We've arrived. Is he not here either? He's behind that rock dying. Mm. He's cautious by nature. Do you remember his note? He told me to come along but you already <laughs> he won't show himself if you're here <coughs> i'll call out to him please you two find somewhere to hide remember our promise yeah 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 i remember she sounded like she used a different mic let's go Leon, no! Can I see? No one's there, man. Monster! Oh. Uh, Leon! No! Help! Oh, no! Dude, that's sad. I can't hold on any longer. <laughs> Do it. Don't forget. 
Bro, the amount of reverb they gave her. No. Is she going to be long? Welcome, no. customers. Ah, oh, damn. She's dead. Do you think she saw him one last time? Bro, the last thing she saw was her beloved running away. Grown ups are complicated, huh? You're supposed to be a grown up, you just reincarnated that. Let's keep heading in this direction until we find him. Bailu sounds like she's about to cry. You, why did the. Oh, that's not the direction. Bailu sounds like she's going to cry. You, what the f did you do? Are you. Your are you Liao Mo? Are you from the Disciples of Sanctus Medicus? Or the Ten Lords Commission? Don't touch me! I didn't do anything! It's fine. That's right. I'm here to heal you. <sighs> You're finally here. First, I was being chased by the Disciples of Sanctus Medicus. Then I ran into the Cloud Knights. Then I thought I heard Banshee's voice, but I ran straight into a monster! <sighs> what a day. Bro, I thought I was bad. I dropped my I dropped my sandwich and my cat ate it. I thought that was bad. This man had worse. But if Banshia sent you, then where is she? Isn't she with you? What do you think? Should we tell him the truth? Bro, we should let him know <laughs> that Mara's shock monster just now was bouncing. What? That monster armed to the teeth? That was Banshia? You're lying. Oh my god, I remembered something from the game. They they said that your choice is important. From not that your choice will change the game. Bro, I'm, I'm gonna tell Liang Wu. I already oh damn, I can't even change it. Liang Wu's gonna know the truth and the game's going to progress differently for me, I guess. Because the ones who would keep it a secret would have a different dialogue option. That's true. She had to disguise herself in order to meet you. How is that possible? Could you take me there? Just to confirm. She... Uh... Damn. She probably had something that will make him recognize it was actually Bangshia, like some sort of like gift from them this is Bacha. this hideous creature yo hey i know you're probably in shock but so people will she changed turn? out of her original clothes right <sighs> There's no point in searching the body, then. Did she give you any secret boxes or letters? Search? For what? You don't know? She left me with nothing. Was she playing me this whole time? Yo. This man's a red flag. What the f***? Your, your beloved... Your beloved just died and she tried everything to do to find you and heal you. And to meet you and talk to you for one last time. And this man is mad because she left him with nothing what did she say she'd bring a list of the names of the disciples of sanctus medicus all right with that list i'd be able to blackmail the disciples into giving me the elixir of immortality Yo. or i could submit the list to the cloud knights to avoid banishment from the scene show yo 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 uh from leon's second letter i don't think i said it but in short, the one part was he didn't care for immortality anymore. Like he said in the letter that he's going to be happy with both of them alive. So, so he played Biang, Bang Xia. I forgot her name already. Well, Bang, Bang, something Bang, Bang Xiao, something. That woman promised me countless times. In the end, I finally trusted her. I genuinely thought she'd offer me change. She did! did didn't, didn't we explain to him what had happened? 
to come here? What the f But in the end, she failed at the most important Dude. hurdle. Or maybe she failed from the very beginning. Bro! She probably lied to you too. I mean, she did lie, but... Oh shit, I really want to ask. I want, really want to say she su succeeded. But I really also want to ask. Is being immortal the most important thing for you? I'm going. I'm going to pick this one. I know that. Uh, I already know the answer. The answer is yes. He's a dick, and everyone knows it. I'm just going to say she succeeded. Are you the type of people that helps someone who tricked you? Dude, you tricked her I don't first. Think so. <laughs> Isn't she your sweetheart? <laughs> sweetheart, bro. This man's a red flag. This man's a red flag with, with the biggest forehead I ever saw. Just getting Ayaka something. That was her wishful thinking. Bro! I wasn't interested in the slightest. No Dude. way. You thought so too? What the f is this deal? We almost a f***ing dead. Heal. What? Let me heal you! So I never have to lay eyes on you again! Huh? <laughs> Wait, can I really want to do this, man. Oh, oh, it's Pangs here. What did I say? I, I said, I think I said something different. I think I, it's Pangs here. Damn, I really forgot. I'm bad with names. Ridiculous. That woman tricked all of us. You should have told her to take up. Oh, finish your f sentence. I'll knock the shit out of you. You, you see what you're packing? That's, that's the amount you're going to lose. Imagine, imagine he had the flu. After finishing the treatment, he left Cloud for and asked the Cloud Knights to take care of the remains of the Mars Trap soldier. Bro. Bro, I feel bad for Bouncia. Yeah. She did everything for him. And, sh and he's a dick. He's a massive dick. I'm going to censor a lot of what I just said in the past minute. Uh, I'm so furious. You and I, child. Wouldn't do. I made a promise to Fangxia. But what if Fangxia knew and they cut off the promise and Bailu needed to do something different? I healed him. And for the next 30 years, he'll hiccup uncontrollably every day. What the f is happening outside my room? Really? Hiccup? That's the best thing you can do? You should have gave him a UTI or what what was it called? Uh kidney stones. He'd probably regret shit. What? He deserved it. Yeah, that's way too light of a punishment. Give him kidney stones. <laughs> that's the price he paid for my lenience, and it still wasn't enough. <sighs> anyway, do you know any good hiding places? I'm still on the run. How about joining my team? You know what? Let's eat some... Let's eat some food. Your hair is flying. What the f Is your hair like that all the time? I know you're a dragon, but damn. <laughs> Have you heard of the Astral Express? Express? What's that? Uh, you know, cool people like the wise whelk and the hot mommy Himiko. And there's also the emo boy, uh, Dan Hung, and the picture girl, uh, I forgot, March 7th, and me, and our mascot, and conductor leader, Pom Pom. Hmm. The Xianzhou is still in a mess. I better stay in Starskip Haven for the time being. I'm sure there'll be fevers and headaches to take care of before long. Bansia asked me if I like treating people. Like I said, it's as easy as eating and drinking for me. I don't like or dislike it. But this whole incident has made me wish I knew more about the Mara struck. Thank you. 
Maybe meet again at the food stalls of Starskip Haven. Bye! There are so many food stalls. Which one should I look at? Look at. Oh, uh, damn. Yay, Bailu can visit us. Is Bailu here? Bailu! Man, the seat's bigger than you. Dude, no one will think that. Why, why would the next place they think they'd find you is a train up above? <laughs> now that I've made it this far, the Alchemy Commission and the Seed of Divine Foresight have no chance of catching me. <laughs> FBI, open up. Uh, uh, Alchemy Commission? <gasps> Bro, you know me. It's you. You're trying to scare me to death? You won't die, man. You, you'll only reincarnate probably into an egg. You're so small, you reincarnate next to, a, to an egg. It was you who invited me. Why well, you gotta scare me like that? Honest. Hey, how about you tell me when the Express is departing? When you come to my team. Just kidding, don't. Don't come to my next poll in the limited banner. I want Kafka. Looky here, someone is in a rush to leave. Don't misunderstand. I don't want to leave the law here forever. At least, not right now. Bro, just just make a prescription or a formula for fevers like paracetamol or for for sneezes like I don't know I don't I'm not medicine. I just wanted to head out early and get back early. I don't want to give the Alchemy Commission time to discover my itinerary. That's all. Now that I think of it, the Express really would make a good secret base. But you could only ask access it. Some time. Anyway, thanks for the invitation. Hmm, I really like it here. Thank you. I will. I will state to Pom Pom that you liked your visit. Your secrets are safe with me. <laughs> they better be, or I won't be coming back. You won't come back, but I will come to you. Yay, ten star J. 